In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the sign-in page for Power Pages site. So just to give you a context, I have a Power Pages site, which is quite a vanilla site. It does not have much information in it. And I have uh, made all this page as for only for authenticated user I'm, and I'm using Azure Active Directory sign-in to authenticate. So the moment I sign into this page, an authentication prompt will come up for, to, for me to sign into this application. Now, uh, many times I've seen I've seen query in the uh, Microsoft site about uh, people asking, how do we edit this particular page? Now, there are multiple ways to edit this particular page. Uh, and I'm going to show you one of the way to edit this page using jQuery. So once this page loads up, what it will do is uh, it will uh, try to find out the authentication information. And if it doesn't find those authentication information uh, in the browser, then it will redirect you to the sign-in page. Now, as you see over here, this is the sign-in page. Now, what if I want to customize the sign-in page? Okay, so a couple of things. Uh, so example, just me, let me show you what I meant by this. So let me show you the connection things. Okay, so if I show you this Azure AD, what if I want to change the text of this button or maybe change the color or maybe uh, over here, if I want to put in something else, okay, can I change this? Can I modify this page or can I change this or can I remove this or, you know, like there are many modification which you can do into this page, but we will take it very lightly, just small things uh, just to show you in an example. Okay, now this is a sign in page. Okay, so in order to do anything on this particular page, you need to uh, write some code at some place within the backend portal. So I'm in Power Pages Design Studio. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into Power Pages Management. Okay, so I've already opened the site and within Power Pages Management, there is something called as content snippets. Now here, what you need to do is you need to first find out whether you have an account slash sign in, account slash sign in slash page copy, okay? Just check whether you have this snippet or not. If not, okay, click on new and then add this account slash sign in slash page copy. And even the display name, you can put the same thing. Uh, and you can put the site name, website as your whatever site. Now this is for me, it's a Queensland site. So I've selected Queensland site. And from the type over here, select HTML, okay? And just click on save. Okay, now here we are going to write some uh, jQuery. Now the format of jQuery, let me open Visual Studio Code just to give you a, a bit information about jQuery. What we are going to do, we are going to enclose that in a script tag. Okay, here, yeah. this is the script tag. Now how do you write a jQuery is like you put a dollar sign, opening and closing bracket, in the context of the document. And once the document is ready, you pass on a function, right? And you put an opening and closing bracket. So this is how, this is where you write all the code. So dollar document dot ready function, and then you put all the code within it. Now, usually the code format are in this syntax. So you put a dollar and then you put a class name, okay? So I'll just put a single quotes and the class name always starts with dot. So I'll say dot. And then you put whatever is a class name and you try to find the element. You find the element, okay? Whatever will be the element, you just, sorry. I'll just show you. Yeah, whatever is the element, you just find it, okay? And once you find that element, you take some action around it, like either change the text or check whether it contains something. So like this, you need to write the code, okay? So we'll just leave it here as it is for time being. Let's go into the portal back here. If you see this portal, now if I do F12 on my Edge browser, it will take me to the developer tools. Now, what I'll do is I'll just select an area. So let's click on this Azure AD button, okay? Now say so take for example, if I want to change the text of this button. 
So I'll just hover my mouse over here, select this and select the button. Okay. Now, if you see over here, this one, okay, just keep a close eye over here. This is that button, okay, this area. Now, the one level above is div class form horizontal and one above level is a form action. So basically, this entire thing is part of a form, okay, and the form is here. Okay, so that is your root element. Then after form, there is a div class form horizontal. And then from there, here you have a button. Okay, so let's take this form action and I'll just copy the element. Okay, and I'll put in my VS code over here to show you how it looks like. So let me, oh, okay, I'll just paste this over here. This looks a bit ugly over here. So let me take this off and put it in a notepad. Okay, so let me put it in a notepad and show it to you. Okay, so how how things work is basically you have a form, you have this form element, and then you have H1, and then you have a span, and you have a button, right? Now, if you see the hierarchy, there is a form after form action, you have a div classes form horizontal. So we need to find this div. Then we need to find this button. Okay. So the syntax is pretty much simple. You know, you need not do anything. You just need to find this form horizontal and just copy this. Okay. And how do you write in uh, jQuery is basically, you just say dollar and in single quotes, the class name form horizontal. And you need to find the button, right? Because after that, there is a button. So I'm just going to find it. Now, how do we find a button? And to find a button is basically uh, you just go into the code. And here, you just need to find the class, OK? For this button, the class is this. Just copy the class, OK? So that you get the context of the button. So I'm going to paste the class, OK? Now, what you do is like just remove all the space and put a dot. Replace space with a dot. So here, I'll just put a dot. Here, I'll just put a dot and I'll just put a double quotes. OK, now here after this, we just say, what are you actually finding out? So I'm just finding out contains. What does it contains? What does that button contain? The button contains the word, say, uh, sign in or maybe Azure AD. OK, so what you need to do, you need to just find that text. OK, now the button text is. Let me show you the button text is Azure AD. OK, and A and D are capital. So I'll just say single quotes Azure AD. And I'll just close this bracket, double quotes, and that's it. OK, so I found that button. Now, what do we do with that button dot? I'll just say change the text to Irish. Okay, some something you like. Okay, whatever you want to make those changes. So some of the things to keep in mind is once we write this jQuery, uh, here we need to reference the element. So we'll just say button dot, and then all the CSS will follow uh, with all the dots. Uh, then. Here we need to put a semicolon so that our jQuery is completely enclosed within this semicolon. And I think uh, this looks good to me. What I'll do, I'll just remove all the spaces. And here this is getting closed and this is getting closed and this is getting closed. OK, so I'll just copy this and put it in our content snippet. So here, here also you need to select the language, content snippet language as English. That is also very much important. And once you're done with all these changes, uh, you just click on Save. Once you save this, go into your Power Pages Design Studio, synchronize the changes.
and then preview the site. So as you see over here, the change is persist over here and we have successfully renamed the button from Azure AD to Girish. Okay. So what we have done is we have written a simple jQuery, which parses through all the uh, HTML tag and then it replaces the text with of Azure AD with Girish. Now what we can do, we can go one step ahead and just copy this again. Now, now we have changed from Azure AD to Girish. Now the text will be changed to Girish. So I'll take the reference of uh, that text, okay? And what I'm gonna do, I'll just remove this part completely. And now I'm gonna change the CSS of that button. Okay, so I'll just say dot .CSS. And then uh, within this opening and curly braces, I'll just put the CSS tag. So one is background dash color and whatever color so maybe i'll just put hash and then put f e a maybe some number so some some color okay and i'll make this as an important tag because i want all the css to be overridden with this particular css tag and once you're done with this, just close this, okay? So second line, what we are doing, for the first line, we have renamed Azure AD button to Girish, and now here we are adding the CSS, okay? So let me see whether it is well-formed or not. Looks like it is well-formed, except for a single code. So we need to add this background dash color in single quotes. And color here and the value is hash ff0 fea002 exclamation important so looks good to me okay now the other thing which i want to make a change is uh so let's go into the sign in page so we have this uh, sign in with a local account and sign in with an uh, external account so here sign in with an external account if i want to make this change and call this as a uh, girish website okay something like that so yes i can make that change Again, simple step, go to F2L, uh, do F2L, and then uh, go to your developer tool, and then try to find this control. Now, remember, this is a span control, okay? So here, how to read it, first look into the form, and within that form, you have form horizontal, and after that form, you have the span class, okay? And this span class has the sign in with an external account, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I know this is form horizontal, so that is one class. Second class is XRM editable text, XRM attribute, okay? So I'm gonna just copy this uh, form tag, copy element, and then I'll put it in a notepad, okay? So the first thing what I mentioned to you is like, we need to extract this part, then we need to extract this part, this entire part, so span classes, XRM editable text, uh, XRM attribute, and then we have XRM attribute value encoded, right? So how do we parse that is like, uh, I, I've already created that formula. So let me copy that formula and then show it to you how it will look like. So I'll just paste this code here. So dollar dot form horizontal, find, and then I can put the span class equal to, okay, this is one representation, uh, like you can either put a span class equal to XRM attribute, or if you do not want 
that kind of a thing or you just need to follow on whatever things we have already created like rather than using a dot interface we can also do that so this is an another way to represent the syntax so what it does is again dollar dot form horizontal dot find so instead of putting all those html tag just take the span dot xrm editable text dot xrm attribute so that is first tag okay that is the first tag here then inside that there is an another tag which is xrm value encoded attribute value so this is an another tag and then we say contains and it has sign in with an external account text sign in with an external account text okay and what do we do with that okay so what do we do with that is we just rename it to girish website sign in something like that okay and i'll just remove the earlier convention okay this is also one of the way which you can work on so this is how you basically uh, make those changes okay and then once you're done with it click on save close this website synchronize the changes and then preview your site So as you see over here, the two changes persist. What we have done, we have changed the CSS to this color. And also we have changed the text of the top over here. So it, earlier it was signed with an external account. Now we have changed it to this. So that's it, folks. This is how you basically use jQuery to replace whatever content is available within your web page uh, to make those changes, provided you have the right content snippet uh, placed within your uh, PowerPages site. Thanks for watching.